Hey everybody, it's Ed. Last video, I talked about how we can try to spot a early pressing Elvis Presley original release uh, as compared to possible or potential later pressings. And I, I, I touched upon some things that I am aware of. And of course, I'm not entirely 100% knowledgeable uh, on the whole subject. So again, I just tried to give some basic tips as to how you may or may not uh, be, you know, be able to identify as to whether or not you have an early or you know, first pressing um, Elvis Presley album released by RCA. Um, and again, I was talking about American releases. Uh, not, I don't have any f uh, familiar basis to talk about any European releases or, or you know, other releases from from around the world. Um, all right, but the purpose of this video is I, I wanted to point you in another direction of um, somebody who has a YouTube channel. And it, there's, there's many, many different Elvis-focused YouTube channels out there that are really, really worth watching. And this one is definitely one of them. And I don't usually do this. I, I really have to do this more often. Um, but I'm, I'm, what I'm talking about here is if you saw the thumbnail talking about Robert from Collecting the King uh, channel. And he does a series of videos where he talks about different subjects and, and he has them titled in such a way that they tie into different Elvis songs or song titles. Um, and it, he, he does a really good show. So I wanted to point out this particular episode that he did, which was the sixth episode which was titled Change of Habit, where he primarily focuses on different Elvis pressings and how to identify uh, if it's an early pressing compared to a later pressing and, and so on. So uh, I wanted to point that out and, and send you in that direction because it's really worth watching and it's very informative and you'll probably get a lot more out of his video um, identifying earlier pressings than, than what I was able to accomplish. So there you have it. So you will find the link to that video in the description here. So uh, please go check it, out, uh, check it out. It's it's definitely time well spent and you will get a lot more information than I was able to provide. All right, so there we have it. So Robert, Robert also is um, a part of the uh, Presleyana editions of of books that come out which are an essential guide to elvis collectibles records um it's also it acts as a price guide as well although i gotta be honest with you i don't really use it for prices i i really search currently and, and see what you know certain things are worth uh via ebay or or other websites where certain things may have sold you know so what i usually do is i go and check what the items actually sold for, not what they were, you know, not what the asking price was, not if it ended without a bid or anything like that, but what they actually sell for. Um, so that's where I usually get my prices from if I'm looking to, uh, you know, buy something or, or possibly get rid of something. But his name uh, is mentioned in the credits of the book. And it's actually his second name, I guess due to alphabetical, but here you see Robert. Alani's, all right, and um, like I said, just just go check out his video, check out his channel if you're not familiar with it. Uh, awesome Elvis collector, awesome Elvis collection. He also owns, uh, runs a record store, so you know you can always go and check that out as well. All right, so I appreciate you watching. Please check out Robert's video for more information about Elvis pressings and how to uh, identify and. I appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment if you would like. Good to yourselves, but good to each other. Take care, everybody.